USA Radio News with Chris Barnes. President Trump campaigns at a rally in North Carolina last night. The Democrat agenda is anti-worker, anti-jobs, anti-citizen, anti-family, and anti-common sense. At the rally, the president also continued his attacks on four minority women in the U.S. House. All Democrats, Trump painting the congresswomen as radical left-wing ideologues and called the freshman lawmakers those who see the U.S. as a force of evil. More U.S. troops are headed to the southern border. The Pentagon announcing it has approved a request to deploy 2,100 troops in support of President Trump's immigration crackdown. A thousand will come from the Texas National Guard. The rest will be active duty. Pentagon officials say they'll help with things like logistical support and aerial surveillance. And this is USA Radio News. Republican Senator Rand Paul's kept a bill to extend funding for the 9-11 Victim Compensation Fund from quickly passing. New York Democrat Kirsten Gillibrand was urging passage through an unanimous consent vote yesterday, but Paul objected. Afterwards, comedian John Stewart, who's been advocating for those who would benefit from the fund, said... What Rand Paul did today on the Senate was outrageous. He is a guy that put us in hundreds of billions of dollars of debt. He was the 51st vote on that cut. And now he's going to tell us that a billion dollars a year over 10 years is just too much for us to handle. The Kentucky Republicans saying new spending has to be fully debated first. The measure is expected to pass overwhelmingly, but not for a few weeks now. A sexual assault case against actor Kevin Spacey tossed out in Massachusetts. Prosecutors saying the complaining witness is no longer available. And this is USA Radio News. The CDC says the number of drug overdoses in the United States has dropped for the first time in three decades. There was a 5% decline in them last year, and that's the first drop that's been seen since 1990. The number of fatalities caused by opioid painkillers had a significant decline last year. However, the number of overdose deaths by fentanyl and methamphetamine continue to rise. There is a multi-state E. coli outbreak, and USA's Wendy King tells us what we have to watch out for. More than 20 people in seven states have gotten sick with E. coli, and the CDC's Colin Basler says ground bison is to blame. At this point in time, it's only ground bison products. So people are eating bison burgers in restaurants, but we have some people who reported purchasing ground bison at grocery stores. He says nearly 50 percent of the people who have gotten sick ended up in the hospital. The ground bison was from Canada and was distributed across the United States. Consumers should check their freezer to see if they have any of the recalled bison. And if you order bison at a restaurant, make sure it's not rare and thoroughly cooked. For USA Radio News, I'm Wendy King. And San Diego Comic Con kicks off today, the premier destination for pop culture fandom, a four-day convention expected to draw over 100,000 people. And for USA Radio News, I'm Chris Barnes.